my folks. Today's tutorial is going to be a Halloween themed one uh, or all year round if you're like me and you like all these spooky weird things. Uh, this time around I thought I'd do a pumpkin scarecrow. So here you go. Uh, as always please remember to pause if you need to and remember to like and subscribe. Right, with this one, I'm going to start with a line that goes across. I'm going to make it sort of jagged, so a few little jaggy wobbly lines. Doesn't really matter how you do it. And go across like that. Now, somewhere along that jagged line towards this left hand side, I'm going to do a line going down and curving over. And then do a line going down like that. Now I'm going to follow another line just around that edge there. And then do another line going up that side. And then across and up again. Now I'm going to do another line going across and up there and then over this side just over to the what left of the, so the two eyes you see so I'm going to do the, left, do the jagged mouth so do a jagged line a bit more jagged than the one above going up now we're going to go down again and do another jagged line up to there and then I'm going to follow a little line out and do these edges here. I'm going to go up to that side there and that side there, like that. Now I've got that, I'm going to do a line going down and stopping there. And down and stopping there. Let's make those lines in that pumpkin. I'm going to do a line going like that, and that, and that, and then go the other way this side, like that. And now we can do some faint lines just following where these lines go to. So folding up there, going across, not going over the eyes and mouth, just on where the face would be. Now I'm going to extend this line a bit further and then bring it in. Same on this side and bring it in like that. And then we're going to do a line going across that's sort of curved. I'm going to do a slight line up and then a straighter line going across and down and put a few rough lines just on there. Now I'm going to bring a line going up, slight jagged bit, and then down like that. And go up again a bit more jagged, and down with a slight wobble like that. And then I'm going to put a little circle and darken that in. And another one, and then some scratch marks on this hat, make it look sort of scruffy. worn so as many little marks and dots doesn't really matter any way you want to do it but just kind of give it a scruffy old scare scarecrow look so now i've got the head i'm going to do a small circle under here a couple of little lines on it and then go out in a couple of little jagged lines kind of cross and up like that like I say, any old pattern, doesn't really matter how you do it, it hasn't got to be exact. And then we're going to do a couple more lines just on there. And then a line going out, in, out, in, out, in, out, 
in and then a few more lines on there as we're going along now we're going to bring a line slightly waved going down to there and then another one going out like that and just under that scarf one going out like that then do some more kind of jagged lines like that and like that and then we're going to bring a line straight out up straight out and the same this side straight across and straight across there now I'm going to do few square marks on either end, sort of half squares like that, and then a few jaggedy bits going underneath, and then we want a few sort of straw marks, so long sort of chip sort of shapes, sort of little french fry type shapes sticking out the end there. going to do a line out and across and down, up there, up and across, and again, and again, and again, and the same this side, so a square, or half square, then up, across and in, up and across, up and across, up and across. And then we do some more of these sort of French fry type bits sticking out the end. These are the end of his fingers. Out of each finger, it's like a little stick poking out. Now I've got that, I'm going to do a slightly wavy line on the bottom, slightly wavy down there. And put lots of smaller lines running up it. And then we're going to do some grass, so little pointy bits of grass poking up, one bending down like that, and a few pebbles, and then do a bumpy line going down, bumpy line going down, and then a few lines underneath to finish it off, maybe some circles. put a few scruffy lines on here and the eye on the arms and one thing I like to do is a bit of cross hatching so a few lines together and a few lines the other way just here there and everywhere to make it all scruffy but there you have your pumpkin scarecrow <laughs>